It's there on the table. Help yourself. I opened it with eagerness and read its title page. I then read the testimony of several witnesses in relation to the manner of its being found and translated. I commenced its contents by course. I read all day. Care for some supper, Mr. Pratt? Eating was a burden. I had no desire for food. Sleep was a burden when the night came, for I preferred reading to sleep. As I read, the Spirit of the Lord was upon me, and I knew and comprehended that the book was true as plainly and manifestly as a man comprehends and knows that he exists. Do you know what's in this book? I haven't been able to hold on to it long enough to find out. I don't know how to thank you. My joy was now full, and I rejoiced sufficiently to more than pay me for all the sorrows, sacrifices, and toils of my life. I'm on my way to Palmyra. My book. I soon determined to see the young man who had been the instrument of its discovery and translation. I accordingly visited the village of Palmyra and inquired for the residence of a Mr. Joseph Smith. Thank you very much. I found it some two or three miles from the village, near the close of day. Evening. Howdy. I'm looking for Mr. Joseph Smith, translator of the Book of Mormon. Well, he lives in Pennsylvania now. It's about 100 miles from here. I'd be pleased to speak with his father or any member of the family. Well, his father's away on a journey right now, but this is his home, and I'm his brother. Pleased to meet you. My name is Pratt, Parley Pratt. Mr. Pratt, Hiram Smith. I informed him of the interest I felt in the book and of my desire to learn more about it, he welcomed me to his house. And since neither of us felt disposed to sleep, we conversed most of the night. His kingdom should be conducted in the last days. These meetings took place every year for four years, until finally, when he was sufficiently prepared, the Lord entrusted him with the plates. Joseph said that a messenger descended When did this happen? Uh, 15th of May, to be exact. This is a new dispensation, Mr. Pratt. A new commission. Angels have visited the earth. Authority has been restored. And Israel is being gathered a final time in preparation for the second coming of the Lord. How far to your next appointment? About 30 miles. But I'll return when it's finished. Well, please do. We'd be glad to have you. Uh, could you use this? Please, take it. It's a token of our friendship. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a safe trip. I traveled on a few miles, 
and stopping to rest, I commenced again to read the book. To my great joy, I found that Jesus Christ, in his glorified, resurrected body, had appeared to the ancient inhabitants of the American continent, that he had taught them his gospel and healed their sick, and that many of his teachings had been preserved here, in this book, in purity. I esteemed this book, or the information contained in it, more than all the riches of the world. Yes, I verily believe that I would not at that time have exchanged the knowledge I then possessed for a legal title to all the beautiful farms, houses, villages, and property which passed in review before me on my journey through one of the most flourishing settlements of western New York. Such was the Book of Mormon.